You know, for many, exhaustion is just a part of everyday life. So it's kind of fighting to stay awake during the day. But if that urge to sleep is overwhelming and irresistible, it may be narcolepsy. It's actually a condition approximately one in 2000 people in the US have. It's one of the most frequently diagnosed primary sleep disorders in sleep clinics, yet it can actually be hard to recognize. So for Sleep Awareness Week, Dr. Raj Dasgupta is here to raise awareness of the condition to kind of expedite the diagnosis process for patients. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Tina, for having me. I'm very excited to talk about narcolepsy. Well, and I, what I said at the very top is true. I think a lot of us were tired. Yeah. So how can we tell the yeah. difference be between just being tired and this condition? Oh, that is a great question. So let me start off by defining what narcolepsy is. It's a chronic neurological sleep disorder. And to throw some statistics out there, 200,000 Americans in our country have narcolepsy. And the sad part is there's a 10 year delay in making the accurate diagnosis. So how do I describe what narcolepsy is? It's a dysregulation of your sleep and wake cycles. My patients during the day have attacks of sleepiness. Then at nighttime, they're having multiple awakenings and arousals. So you can imagine just how frustrating this is for patients. So is there specific symptoms, doctor, that you want patients to kind of be specifically looking out for? Oh, this leads into signs and symptoms, and the answer is yes. I always think about the big five. Number one, excessive daytime sleepiness. This is the most debilitating, why patients see me to get treatment. Number two, it's going to be those disturbed sleep at night, multiple awakenings. Number three is something called sleep paralysis. Maybe a lot of your viewers have experienced this. It is scary. And sometimes with that, you get number four, these visual hallucinations. But I want to take some time to talk about number five, cataplexy. What is it? It's gonna be an uncontrollable loss of muscle tone, and it's usually brought on by intense emotions like laughter, and this is where Hollywood kind of exaggerates the disease state sometimes. They view cataplexy as a shot of someone after laughter with their head falls into a bowl of cereal and Fruit Loops go flying all over the place. That's not cataplexy. It's something that can be very subtle. Weakness of the arm, slurring of the speech, blurring of the vision. The key thing is making the right accurate diagnosis. And speaking of that diagnosis, if we're you know, feeling yeah. like some of these <laughs> symptoms are us, we go in, how do you usually diagnose this? This is a great question. It's going to start off with the right history and the physical examination, but I think the best, quickest way to do this is go to a website. I've teamed up with Jazz Pharmaceuticals. The website is called morethantire.com. And Tina, I got to say, I love this website in the sense that that's what narcolepsy is, being more than just tired. And when you go there, there's gonna be screeners about excessive daytime sleepiness, screeners for do you have narcolepsy? And the most important thing is it has a physician finder to put my patients in the right direction. And doctor, I'm so glad actually you mentioned earlier about the movies because we were actually just off camera talking about these <laughs> yes. different movies where they kind of have uh -huh. over exaggerated it. And people think right. that is what it looks like. If I'm not, like you said, falling into my bowl of cereal, that, that can't be me. But you know what? Go to the website right. and see if some of these signs are what we're experiencing. Well said, Tina. Well said. I think this is perfect. Doctor, we're going to definitely get people to that website. Give it to us one more time. It's going to be morethantired.com. Thank you for inviting me here, telling people about narcolepsy. I'm very passionate about this, and they will get the information they need at morethantired.com. Doctor, you've been awesome. Thank you so much again. <laughs> You're very welcome. Have a great day. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.